what will an individual learn as they pursue the CWISA? Now, a few years ago, CWNP realized that it was time to get into the wireless IoT space. So CWNP is the Certified Wireless Network Professional. They're not necessarily a Wi-Fi network professional. They're a wireless network professional. But we have to give to the industry what the industry demands. And what we did was for several years after IoT began to be a buzzword, late 2008, 2009, 2010 timeframe, it started growing in popularity, became really common by around 2011 or 2012. We're watching this all along the way. We're observing what's going on with it. Is it really being used or is it just theoretical at this point in time? And we had to find that right time when wireless IoT in the business world, so for commercial buildings, manufacturing environments, warehouses, government deployments, oil and gas, on and on the list goes. When these types of commercial or government deployments were really starting to happen, then we said, now we need to make sure people have the right knowledge to do this because it is going out of the theoretical space of research and college theses and things like that. And it's getting into the real world where people are actually implementing it. So that was around the 2017 timeframe when the real big explosion of IoT started to happen in all of those spaces. And so we began the development of a whole new track of certification at CWNP that's focused on wireless IoT protocols. And the first step in that track is CWISA, the Certified Wireless IoT Solutions Administrator. It's similar to CWNA, while CWNA focuses just on Wi-Fi, CWISA gives you your introduction to IoT in general, an understanding of these things called wireless sensors and actuators, what are they, what do they do for us, and then the different IoT architectures available and the protocols that are used to make all of this happen. So CWISA is really the beginning point of specifically the wireless IoT journey. CWISA does cover Wi-Fi as well, but not even close to the depth of CWNA because it's one of the wireless IoT protocols that you might use, but then it also covers other protocols. These are protocols like Zigbee and Z-Wave and Bluetooth and ISA 111A and Wireless Heart. And all of those things I just said might sound like totally foreign language concepts to you, but it's okay because the reality is that's what CWISA is there for, to get you started on that IoT journey so that you can move on to more advanced topics later on in the track.